I want to jump to this next story because I think it hits at the heart of a lot of what we're talking about. This is uh, this story has been going viral. I covered it a bit in 4 p.m. Employee wards off three robbers with a knife, stabs one multiple times at Las Vegas Smoke Shop. Yeah. Of course, we got to censor these images because these are brutal images. But I'll tell you the gist of the story. Guys working at a smoke shop in Vegas. Dudes come in. One guy immediately robs them. The next guy jumps the counter. And the clerk just says, okay, with a knife in his hand and just starts going at the dude who jumped the counter. Now, a lot of people are saying that it's, was it a legal use of force? Because he gets this guy in the neck a couple times and the guy says, I'm dead, I'm dead. The reason I, I think this is, a, this is a, you know, in the previous segment, we're talking about, you know, why are people keeping their money, hoarding it, not really investing in their communities and stuff like that. And I think this is a really good example. Yeah. This guy was attacked. And what people are worried about is that he will go to prison for <laughs> defending himself. Defend, yeah, I know. And so it's, it's things like this. When people say, I'm out. Uh, if 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 we're sitting here looking at the story, thinking that you could be minding your own business, someone can jump the counter wearing a ski mask, uh, and you are legally required to back up and wait for them to draw on you before you have a chance to actually defend yourself, that's the reality of this country in many states. Yep. At that point, a lot of people are just like, don't care anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch out for myself because you will get boot stomped by the machine. If you try and defend yourself. In New York, California, totally. That's Absolutely. why all the Californians, that's why Austin's so expensive now. It's because of this. Like some Crime. stuff like this. Yeah, it's a huge part of it, yeah. I mean, if you're in Florida, if you're well, in Well, you West. saw the dude in, in New York, Jose Alba, right? Like that guy. The old guy getting, with the shotgun? Yeah, like uh, the old dude who, like the, the, the some, so it was in New York, the bodega guy. Remember the guy who, who cut the, he killed the, the guy was beating him up, like beating his ass. I, and he stabbed him, killed him. Right. Did, did, I mean, it couldn't have been a more clear cut to self defense. The, 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 the girlfriend stabbed the, the store the store clerk. The, 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 yeah, yeah, she tried to or something. No, she did. She got him oh, in the she arm. Did. I'm pretty sure she got him in okay, the arm. Right. I could be wrong. Well, so is, it was the most clear cut self defense I've ever seen. This Jose Alba? Yeah, account? that guy. He, he's leaving and going to the Dominican Republic. Oh, I would too if I was. Two here. hours ago from New York Post, yeah. 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 They, they dropped the murder charge and he's the, out. The only reason the prosecutor dropped the charge is because everyone in the country was in a total uproar. And the, er, the mayor, Eric Adams, was like, all right, just let the dude go. Yeah. Like, it's exactly when what you're talking about. Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah, exactly. The, the fact right. that there were people in this country that were that had, had no idea what happened yeah. and wanted him to, to go to prison. The fact that he spent two months, or it wasn't two months, it was almost three months, yeah. in jail. And then they were like, oh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was self-defense. It's remarkable that anybody who watched that were, was just unquestionably it was self-defense. Let's just watch the video. But, but most people didn't watch the video because no, that one is the wrong narrative. Uh, right. well, but they believe Jesse Smollett. <laughs> that, yeah, well, the America. same people that believe Jesse Smollett are the ones who, when they watched the Rittenhouse trial, were like, wait a minute, he didn't shoot a bunch of black people? No, like, do you they remember? No how idea. Right. Do you remember how many no people idea. were like, wait a minute, he shot three white guys who had, one of them had a gun? And, and, the other and, one, like, and he's on the ground and the guy runs up with the gun? <laughs> right. And the guy... They were shocked. The guy's accused of saying that he, he regrets not killing him? <laughs> they had no idea. And then you saw some of these people came out and they're like, I was wrong about that. I, they, they, look. Some did. A, f a minority did a minute. But right. most people didn't. They kept no. going with, well, he, this is wrong. This is, this is like right. uh, uh, injustice. <laughs> Our system is so biased. It's, a, it's an example of systemic racism that, you know, they never tried to fact check themselves at all. They never really looked at the case again because they're not really interested in it. They're interested no. in their own na you know, narrative. I'm sure all of these uh, really wealthy media people are watching shows like this and they're, they're hearing me talk about stuff and they're laughing like, what an idiot. The yeah. fact that I would say I would, I would rather invest in the company than hoard the money and hide it somewhere. They're like, when it all comes crashing down, and it is because they all see it coming, Taiwan, China, Russia, whatever it is, I'm going to be left holding an empty bag and they've, they've been stocking their money up in Panama and El Salvador and crypto mm. and wherever else. Their money might not be worth much. Yeah, but if, if you things go around. really if things go really sideways, you're in a way better spot than they are. Well, think about it. you're on land, you have guns, you have friends, you have food. Yeah, but they do too. These people uh, have been buying up in Idaho and Wyoming and building compounds and fortresses. So you, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. So uh, you're right, that it definitely exists. But you know what's gonna happen if things go really sideways? Not like a little COVIDy, but like like sideways, sideways. Civil war, um, or or short of it can be like short of civil war, but but sideways, um, bro. How many people you think that work on those compounds in Idaho are going to give their lives for for rich out of staters? Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, and then, let's go a step further. 
How, your head is, let's say you're a super billionaire who has a huge estate outside of Sun Valley. That head of security, that guy who, you know, he was former SF and he's got his family there and he hired the whole crew. And there's like four dudes that all report to him. He's the billionaire now. He's the ba- boss now. That's right. That's what happened with the Roman Empire. I mean, mm-hmm. the head of the, the, generals. the Praetorian Guard would just kill the emperor and yeah. take, become the new emperor. Yep. That happened with multiple times. Oh, this, is, this is the thing people need to understand, too. Like, your point is absolutely spot on. You own land. Yep. So, like, so, so like, I, I, I mean, rhetorically, obviously, but because you talked about it, but I'm saying, like, you think you own land just in, in a rhetorical sense. What does that mean? You You're got running a, it from the government. You've got a piece of paper <laughs> that says, on this date, so and so owns the land. What do you think is going to happen when it hits the fan? You're going to walk onto your land and there's going to be a dude with a gun. And he's going to be like, it's my land. And yeah. you're going to be like, but I have the paper. And he's going to be like, and I have the gun. <laughs> it's going to be like the land grab when the people are going west. Yep. It's going to sprint. That's, that's, I mean, there's a reason why a lot of smart people are focusing a lot of time on community. Right. Yeah. Because, and a lot of like that. I te- when I first got into this, a lot of people were like, oh, defense, defense, have guns. And I'm like, OK, guns are cool. I'm into defense, but I'm one dude. If a gang of dudes come, I need neighbors. I need friends. Well, I need like, other people with guns. This is like an you old know? timey Western thing. But like if you're not home and your family's home, you need the rest of your community to be like, we're going to head over there. Yes. They seem to be in trouble. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 